All right, so here we go again with another tracks episode. So we had a client that wrote a watch off us. We gave him all the rules because we tell you exactly what it is when we buy something from us. And he goes into a pool, it gets destroyed, and he comes back and expects it to get free for fix. Yes, we give warranty, but we also know when the warranty doesn't cover what he did. Are you fix my shit? No, you went into the water, didn't you? We just made my client an engagement ring, right? They've been, they've been together for six years. And he came on by, he like, Angel, listen, last minute, I need a ring and I need it done today. I'm like, absolutely, we can definitely do that done. And check this out. IGI report, everything comes with a certificate. Two carat, just look at the quality of it. We got it done same day, he found the stone and the band for him, and we got it done. We got it assembled in like two hours, and now he's gonna propose uh, during the weekend. So hopefully, you know, the girl says yes. <laughs> but with a diamond like this, Who's gonna say no? How do you feel? Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. You didn't say it. You came correct and we got the job done. Yeah. Let's go, bro. All right, man. Come on by. Those two pieces here at tracks, man. Come on, let's go upstairs. So you can meet the boss. But this is yeah. the big boy. So you yeah. get compliments on your piece? Yeah, my honey. I mean, the island, islands. Islands. The yeah, islands man. go crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. Right? right? Yeah. The islands go crazy for you. We gotta steam it up and we gotta yeah. clean it up. Yeah, All right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And you went super solid, super yeah. heavy. Yeah. He's a madman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're blind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I'm even going to blow the sale by saying that I'll pay for You're not making no We're trying to work out some deals. Yeah, we just have a little I said, I was to get my watch fixed. Just trying to get some balls. All right. This is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. Look, this is what I'll do. Right, so come on, man. You could like, give it to let's me. Let's work something. You're going to give this to me as is. All the water, all the damage inside, I'll repair it. I'm going to give it back to you like that without the problem. All right, so what? So who are you? I need the red. I need the red. I need the red. I'm like, so y'all need to make sense, bro. Are you telling me I got to pay you some shit like this? Listen, if it was normal, if you brought it back to me broken, if you brought it back to me broken, I'll repair it. Oh, bro, it's broke. It's broke. Why? It just yes, that's lost. Why is it not here? That's lost. Why is it not So if you brought it back to me, I can put it back. If you brought it back to me, I can put it back. Bro, I didn't do nothing, bro. Where this fucking box? I got it. I get it. I'm not really. I wasn't fully aware of what was happening. I was seeing some back and forth between Yasha and the client. I remember the client. He always comes here, this and that. The client told me that he brought the watch two, three weeks ago and got the crown repaired and fixed. So this is my only pointer with the client. Everything else, Yasha 100%. So if we fixed it two, three weeks ago and it was not properly fixed and it fell off and he lost it, I think, regardless, Yashu gave amazing courtesy, but it was maybe the approach from the client, maybe too street, maybe too aggressive, and not showing Yashu the respect that he deserved, because regardless, Yashu was already putting 800 to to $1,000 in. So I get Yashu's point. So let's do this the right way. If I hop in the fucking car, and I drive on the lot from where they fix my shit, and I turn the corner and it falls off, and I come back, like you broke my shit, it fell off. What happened? I was driving, it fell off. I was driving up, I turned around. I don't have it. They're gonna fix my shit, bro. Bro, you told me that you literally went into the pool, yes. was swimming and everything or whatever. I didn't tell you that, bro. I, I don't know where it is, water, bro. but it's saying hey, yo, you went into the water, didn't you? Yo, bro, please. Somebody else, bro. You're not making, you're not making sense, bro. You chose to go into the water, right? It's supposed to be water. Watch. All right. Right, exactly. All right. All right. We, I have evidence. I have a slip of paper that says that it was pressure tested and that it passed the pressure test. That means that with the crown on properly, we do a test with the Rolex. It's on our YouTube videos, right? And I'm addressing you because yeah. so, you, so yeah. you understand the context please right you, you know how eric puts it in into the water pressure test and everything seals and it has to print out a slip that says it passes that it's pressure proof right so it passed that test so because i have that evidence i know that it was put on correctly otherwise it would have failed the test you know what i mean when you're going into the water in a pool he literally said i went into the pool right now that clients will lie and lie their way out or tell you a half a truth just so they don't feel as responsible. All the internal damage I just told you, I'll cover it. You, you're not bringing me back a part of the watch. What am I supposed to do? 
to replace it, bro. I just paid to replace it. Not even a month ago. I can understand I'm telling you I was going for eight months, nine months, I'm just coming back, like you'll fix my shit. No, I just got it fixed within the time frame, but that shit not happen. Let me ask you. The watch she brought back was without a crown and it was fully submerged in water. The whole thing inside the dial was soaked in water. That means he was overusing the watch inside the water. Pressure with the water, if you're gonna move it up and down inside water, it'll lift the crown off and flood the inside of the Rolex with water. That's what would have happened. We do have proof of it being pressure tested at the time when it was given to him and it was sealed properly. He's saying that it wasn't sealed properly and the crown fell off and it was, it's all our fault. So you come in with that after you already stated that you were in a pool party and if you look at the watch, that type of damage is not normal. What I offered to him was, hey, I'll take the internal mechanism of the watch, I'll still do an overhaul, I'll clean it, you know, I'll, I'll ultrasonic it, I'll, and I'll re-oil all the gears and put it back together. But the crown, because you're not bringing me the crown of part of the Rolex, that you have to replace the crown. I told you to be out. Big man, big man, big man, big man, big man, stop, 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 stop. What? You're gonna have to get out of the bro. Stop. I'm going nowhere, bro. I'm not going to do it. No, no, wait, hey, don't, don't treat the guy like that. Total overall, all I asked him what to do, because he didn't bring me the crown, is so replace the crown. That's it. I think we extended our courtesy to the max already. And he wasn't understanding that. So if you're already gonna if you're already not gonna appreciate my courtesy, then I have nothing else to say for you. You know? That's Ooh. really what it is. I respect that. Him and let him let him be on his way. If he wants to return, he returns. If he doesn't appreciate the fact that we're putting another thousand dollars to repair his mistake a year later on the house, we're bleeding that out. That comes out of all of our money then you know it is what it is so hope if he's if you're watching this bro hopefully you come back and 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 you know and we make it right we continue doing business if not it is what it is but we're taking care of it so clients are number one they're most important to us and we want the world to see that little situations happen but uh, we're solving it what Tell i'm me. trying to say is what every time a, a client comes in crying and whining bro we're gonna give that's all it takes for us to just give out money Max already gives away free shit all the time. One way or another, we're gonna solve it. If there's logic, if there's meaning, we're going beyond these uh, big brands and these protocols and what everybody else does on the street. What we have done here, nobody else will do. And that's thanks to Max and the team that he has created.